I want to show you how to create a purchase order, receive that purchase order, and then invoice it in Dynamics AX 2012. To get started, we're going to create a purchase order. We'll go to the Procurement and Sourcing Area page, and we'll go to All Purchase Orders. These are all the purchase orders I currently have in my system. And what I want to do is create a new one. So I'll go over here, Create Purchase Order. I'm going to look up the vendor that I want to make this purchase order to. Select that. Then I'm going to go into this general tab here. I'm going to select the site that I'm going to receive into and the warehouse within that site. When I add lines to my purchase order, I can either look up the item number here or I can use this Add Products wizard here and I'll do that. Then I just select the products that I want on my purchase order. I'm going to select these first two here, add them, and I'm going to enter the quantities right here and add those lines to my purchase order. So these are the lines in my purchase order. If I wanted to, I could add additional ones. But let's take a look at the totals. I'll click on the total view here. This is the total cost of this purchase order going out. The next step then is to confirm this purchase order. I'll go to the purchase ribbon and then select confirm. And now the purchase order is ready to receive against. So the next step then would be to receive these items in. So I'll go to the receive ribbon here and select product receipt. I'm going to enter a product receipt number, which is just an internal number that I'm going to use for my own records. I'll hit OK. It'll bring up the individual lines. If I received less than the amount ordered or more, I would specify that here. But these are OK. This is what I received. So I'm going to hit Close. And that'll create the receipt and add these items to my inventory. So now let's go back to the purchase order and let's invoice that. To do that, we'll go to the Invoice ribbon and select Invoice. Here I'll enter the vendor's invoice number. If I want to, I could enter an invoice description. I'm also going to put the invoice date here. And this will automatically calculate the due date based on the terms I have with this particular vendor. If this is fine, the next thing I do is hit Post. And I'm done. So now let's take a look at the results of this process. First of all, we'll go to the Accounts Payable Area page. And we'll look up Open Vendor Invoices. You can see the invoice here and the detailed line information associated with it. Next, let's take a look at the inventory receipts. Go to the Inventory Management area page. Go to the Inquiries area and look at on-hand transactions. Here's the items that we just received in. There's two of them here. We can select that, go to the Transactions. We can see the transaction on which those items were added to the inventory. So that's the complete process. We created a purchase order, we received it in, we invoiced it, and we saw the results of that process. So the purchase order receiving an invoicing process in AX 2012 can be made to be fairly simple.